So you could call it a tale of two maritime tragedies, the one we've been hearing about nonstop for days, in which rescuers are now almost certain that all five members of that submersible in the North Atlantic have died. And then there was that other one, with the hundreds of migrants who likely died last week when their rickety boat sank off the coast of Greece. Many of them were probably children. Now, clearly, these two tragedies were treated very differently, both by the global media and by rescue workers. But why? On social media and beyond, some have said that race, politics, and economic status were major factors. The five men whose deaths were announced today were almost all millionaires and billionaires. And the migrants who perished off the Greek coast were effectively refugees, among the poorest and most desperate people on the planet. It's a troubling juxtaposition and one that does give cause for thought. But it's hardly an apples to apples comparison. As far as the media is concerned, well, it's easy to see why a bunch of wealthy people trapped in a makeshift submarine while visiting the Titanic might make for a gripping story. For many critics, it's the emergency response that illustrates a kind of favoritism. But that's also not so straightforward. More than 100 people were rescued from the Greek tragedy, thought to be one of the deadliest on the Mediterranean in recent memory. And unlike with the submarine, the migrant victims whose bodies weren't long ago presumed dead. After all, they weren't in a sealed submarine. But it's up to you to decide for yourself whether reporters and rescuers acted with professionalism or prejudice. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.